Time to wrap up our season with Kofu Ventforay. Having won the league title in our last episode to add to the Super Cup we won in our first outing, we now have the chance to add an incredible third trophy this season as we play in the Emperor's Cup final. It was, of course, Kofu's real-life victory in this competition in 2022 that inspired me to do this save. And unbelievably, despite still being a J2 league team, we have a chance to retain our title. But first, a quick update on how we got here. It all started easy enough with victories over Iwaki and Oita in the early rounds, both fellow J2 league sides, setting up a round of 16 clash with Kawasaki Frontal. Not the best of starts as we fell behind early on, but we rallied with Mancha equalizing and Utaka stroking home a penalty before half time. Our victory would not come in normal time though as J Cell equalized for the hosts. That goal came on 90 plus four, but the I would then swing in our favour as Kawasaki had a man sent off. We then scored twice in extra time, first from Horiuchi, and then a second penalty of the game, this time converted by Hatem Ban Arthur to secure a 4-2 win. Vissel Kobe were up next, and this tie was settled by a single goal from Takitomi midway through the first half, as we marched on into the semi-final, and we would travel to northern Japan to take on Sapporo. And once again, we would benefit from a penalty call, and once again, Ben Arthur would put it away. Sapporo would pull the game level before half-time, but in the second half, 20 minutes to play, we would get another penalty, and this time it was Peter Uta who sealed the win. And what a really unbelievable run this was. Not only did we beat three J1 league teams, but there were three teams from the top 10, and we did it all the way from home. So now it's time to head to the Japan National Stadium for the final with Hiroshima, who this season finished just outside the top 10 in the J1 league. Make a prediction in the comments, do you think we can win it? Oh, but yes, yeah, sorry to be a kind of tease, but there is one more update we need to do before we get to the cup final. Our AFC Champions League campaign. In the last episode, we saw that 4-1 win over Vietel of Vietnam, where we followed that up with a 3-1 win over April 25. The match taking place in North Korea's absolutely massive Mayday Stadium, with goals from Utaka, Takitomi, and Matsuda before, yeah, we let the home side save a little face near the end, starting with two wins out of two. Our home match with Wuhan Three Towns was a massive one as both teams were on six points. And with a quarter hour on the clock, it was another penalty call in our favor and another Ben Arthur strike. Wuhan, though, put up a fight and they had pulled level by the half hour mark, but we prevailed in the second half, Takitomi scoring midway through for a crucial victory. Further wins over April 25 and a big one over Vietel FC followed, but the most important result came elsewhere in the group as Wuhan dropped points away to April 25, meaning we topped the group with a game to spare. The dream lives on, but anyway, back to the cup final. Now we do have some bad news coming into this game as our two first choice centre backs are out. Eduardo Mancha is suspended for this final, and Riku Nozawa is out injured for the next three weeks. Now, luckily, we've got Riku Matsuda in on loan, so he can cover. But then we're also having to use this backup player, Motoyama, who's not the best. All right, so the team talk's been done. The media interviews, they're all out of the way. So here we go against Hiroshima. So as we said before, mid-table finish for them in the J1 League. We've dominated the J2 league, finishing with 103 points. So does that put us on a par with our opponents? I don't know, we'll have to see. We have, of course, knocked off three J1 league opponents on this run, so I think we've got a decent chance. But having said that, the way FM works, um, probably that's all been relayed to SI headquarters now, and Miles has pushed the button to nerf us and make us lose. But anyway, we are starting with the ball here, Kofa, Matsuda, Okay, here we go. It's back to the keeper. Going for the patient build-up. That's fine. Wood is our lonely goalkeeper who's come in from New Zealand for half a season. That is one thing I'm going to have to think about. We've got players leaving. You know, I said in the last episode, this guy right here, Ben Arthur, is going to be leaving at the end of the season. He's just scored his 23rd goal. Oh my God, I hate to see him go. Even though, you know, he's, he's a veteran. He's in his late 30s. It's such a shame that he's going to be leaving us at the end of this season. But yeah, he's on the way out. Um, we've got a couple of other players leaving. We've got some loanies who are going to go, but we're going to be in the J1 League. And we've got the Asian Champions League campaign to complete. So 
there's going to be a bit of rebuilding that needs to happen in the offseason. Okay, halfway through the first half now. No further action, no further highlights. Um, oh, here we go. We've got one now, and it's us starting with the ball. Um, for my regular viewers, um, a couple of little mini updates first of all i do apologize for lack of frequent uploads on the channel of late there is a good reason for it which we won't get into now but hopefully within the next couple of weeks i'll be able to start uploading much more frequently once again i've got plenty of ideas and we've got fc vaduce we haven't forgotten about them they will be making a comeback on this channel soon as we go two nil up higher shida with a beautiful strike may have took a deflection on the way in but we're two nil up unbelievable jeff Right, let's have a look at that one again because I wasn't really wasn't really concentrating when it happened. Nakamura, Hayashida in acres of space. I think it did take a deflection, but the goal goes down for us and we'll take it. Yeah, but we've also reached a milestone on the channel. You may have noticed we passed 5,000 subscribers recently. Whoa, every time I talk about one of these updates, we there's nearly a goal in the match. But we passed 5,000 subscribers recently, so... Thank you to everyone who's subscribed over the years and watched any of the content over the years. It's much appreciated. And if you're not subscribed already, what better time than now to do it? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button while you're at it as well. It'll help give us some good luck to see out this cup final. We're 2-0 up here. Now, we've got to try and keep this lead intact going up to half time. We don't want to concede here. And of course we do. But at least we didn't concede another one before we got to half time. So two, one up. But you can see there from that brief overview of the stats we got in the middle of the screen, Hiroshima did start to dominate towards the end of that half. And they can probably feel hard done by that they haven't at least pulled themselves back level. But we just got to tell the boys that we're very happy with what they're doing so far and then let them get out there for the second half. Hopefully we can grab a third goal and see this through and here we go we've got a highlight straight away but we've given the ball away from an advanced position for a throw and you don't want to be giving the ball away there but okay we've won it back we've recovered come on Kofu I mean we of course um second tier teams from various leagues around the world have won their national cups before but I wonder has a second division side ever won and then retained the cup the national cup competition if you do know of a team like that, bit of football trivia, let us know in the comments. Can we get that third goal here? Oh, Nakamura in acres of space. And he absolutely smashes it in. Kinshasa, Nakamura just smacks that one in from distance. What a strike. We've had a couple of long-range screamers here in this final today. Let's have a look at this one again from behind the goal, from this elevated position. No deflection this time, just a beautiful strike. Right, time for some substitutions. Takatomi can come on because Toriaki is not having a great game there. I'm also going to bring on our young wing back, and Horiuchi. I mean, um, Kobayashi, as of course he scored that screamer. He's having a good game, but we want our youngster to get a bit of game time, don't we? And now we're into the final 10 minutes, so... I think we need another time-wasting substitution. We'll definitely need some time-wasting if Hiroshima score here. Yeah, that's going to make it a frantic final few minutes. Oh, but a great save by Wood. Absolutely fantastic. No, it's gone out for a goal kick, so that must have hit the post. Anyway, Utaka, he's been anonymous today, so we're going to take him off. We're going to bring on our young striker, Naito, I think. This is a good time for him to shine. Oh, we're into stoppage time now. There's five minutes left on the clock. Surely this is our game. Even if Hiroshima score now, they are not getting back in this. And there we go. Kofu have retained the Emperor's Cup. Of course, this is the first time I'm winning it as their manager. But wow, what a, what a season this has been. We won the Japanese Super Cup to kick things off. We've won the J2 League. We've qualified for the knockout stages of the AFC Champions League to be held at the start of next season. And now we lift the Japanese Emperor's Cup. Second time in a row. And there we go. Some well-deserved fireworks. So there you go. That counts as a treble. We'll take it. Super Cup, Division 2 title, and the main cup. Takatomi, unfortunately, well, it's fine. It's the end of the season. We do have one game left, actually. One game to play which is in the AFC Champions League, but we've already secured qualification, so we don't need to worry about that. That was actually my original plan, was to do the cup final plus the final game of the stage from the Champions League, but that proved to be 
unnecessary. We get £814,000, which was going to be useful to spend on money for J1 League players. That's enough to get me into the Japan Hall of Fame. Again, we'll take it. The fans are delighted. Look at that. See that right up there? Our name on the cup two years in a row. The board's ecstatic. This is just all good. It's just all love at the moment. So all that means this is going to continue a little bit, the save with Vent for Kofu. I just want to see how far we can get in the AFC Champions League. So um, I've checked there. The knockout rounds for that take place from February through to May, if we can make it to the final. Big if. So yeah, there will be at least one more episode for Vent for Kofu. Then we're going to be bringing FC Voodoo's and Liechtenstein back to the channel. So, you know, after they've had a brief hiatus, I hope you're hyped for that. But for now, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the knockout rounds next time.